Why is a variable speed pump better than a two-speed pump? Well, a two-speed pump certainly can save you some money in the right circumstance. Take a look, look at this pump running at 1750 RPM, which is approximately half. And as you can see here, it's only drawing about 370 watts of power, which is very little. And that's the advantage of having the motor running at a lower speed is that you're able to achieve quite a bit of flow for a lot less money than running the pump on full speed. Take a look here as we ramp up to the full speed value. At 2.25 kilowatts, that was a lot more power versus the 370 some odd watts that we're consuming when the pump is running at half speed. So there's your advantage. You hope to be able to run your pump on the lower speed setting and you save a lot of money on electricity while still moving quite a bit of water. So what makes a variable speed pump better than a two-speed pump if I'm able to save this money with a, with a two-speed pump? Here's the thing. What if you had a heater and a salt water system? Those both have systems, systems in place to detect flow, and there needs to be a sufficient amount of flow in order for the device to operate. So what happens if 1750 RPM, or half speed on your two-speed pump, isn't enough to actuate those peripheral devices. On a variable speed pump, all you would do is simply dial in the RPM that you need. Maybe it was 1900 instead of 1750. That's only 450 watts. It's still a substantial savings, but now the peripheral devices on the pool will be able to operate. So this won't work on every application, but the, this is something to consider. If you have a more advanced system set up with more peripheral devices, you will benefit more from a variable speed pump. If you just had a pump and a filter and nothing else, well then a two speed pump probably would be a good option for you because it's less money to buy than a various variable speed pump. And you don't really need to be able to dial in your exact RPM you'd be happy enough just to have it operating at 1750 and using substantially less than what it would be at full speed. But if you're trying to figure out what makes a variable speed pump better, it's simply the ability to dial in the RPM value and the flow rates that you need for your specific installation. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.